Hi everyone and welcome to this Smart Grid Forums video, which we're um, holding today with my colleague Berka Heimerson, who is a project leader for, for Smart Grid Developments at Landsnet. And Berka is joining us today to talk about some of the work he's been doing in this past year in the substation, digital substation area with 61850, and also the information he's going to be sharing with us at the IC61850 Week 2021 conference in October. So Berka, well, uh, welcome, delighted to have you on the channel today. Um, so let's just start um, at the beginning and how the past year's really um, uh, planned panned out for you, how it's impacted your 61850 activity? Yeah, it's been a strange year, of course, with a yeah, global pandemic going on, but it really hasn't uh, slowed us down in any way with 6150 activities. Uh, last night, my uh, Matthias O. Iceland, who I'm working for, is, took the major decision to go with all new uh, projects to go fully digital substations, and we're in that kind of phase to kind of implement them, commission them, and at the same time, because we yeah, started really quickly to do this, we are at the same time building up all our requirements, implementation guides and stuff like that. So it's been a very busy year regarding uh, 6150 and the substitution here in, here in Iceland. Right, okay, that's great. So has um, the pandemic had any kind of impact on your activities at all? Uh, of course, it's slowed down kind of the ongoing projects a bit, like, uh, yeah, getting getting on site, getting maybe, yeah, foreign foreign contractors to Iceland to right. work on them and, and stuff like that. Of course, that has slowed down, but we, it has kept us busy and the research and development team, which is focusing on this aspect, we have a lot to do, as I say, regarding kind of our requirements and stuff like that. But definitely the pandemic has slowed down uh, the commissioning of projects. Right. Yeah, okay. And so what's currently the most important 61850 issue that your group are working on? What are you working to resolve? <laughs> it's, I would say it's very broad. I mean, we're tackling so many aspects, of course, uh, because we are going uh, this fast into, yeah, uh, building digital substation. We're tackling so many aspects, really. So it's it's all from the engineering uh, process, uh, asking for yeah, going through for a top down uh, design, yeah. uh, data modeling, get, trying to get away from these TGIO things. We want to do as much uh, directly as the standard has uh, put things out in the data model. We're looking at architecture, networking, all the communications, uh, interoperability. You're seeing, of course, we've been working a lot with the big vendors uh, to solve kind of issues if they are not compatible with the latest edition of the standard and fixing those kind of issues. Of course, a lot of things with our contractor who, who of course, is responsible for building uh, or designing these things, they are doing it for the first time as well. So we've been a lot of supporting uh, to them to yeah get them that 6150 yeah. Yeah, vote to do it properly. So. Uh, as I say, it's, there's no one thing really pointing out because we are tackling so many things at the same time. And it's really important, I would say, to go as much as we can by the, by the standard. But of course, at the same time, we are doing our implementations, uh, how we really want things to do. Because in the end, uh, even though 6150 and the substation are kind of structured with the standard, but just the TSOs and the customer, of course, have kind of Legos to put together. There's no one one right solution. So, of course, we are trying to find the best solution for us to go on into the future. So we puzzle things together. Yeah, that's interesting. There's always that tension between going fully with a standard and customizing it a little bit so that it really fits your environment. So, I mean, Landsnet is actually leading with the process bus architecture and implementations of that. Um, I think your peers in the industry consider you as one of the leaders in that in that area. So what would you say is a real um, unique uh, point of difference about the way that you're implementing the process bus to make it really cost effective and really um, high performance? Uh, of course, we're just trying to optimize 
uh, kind of what's what's out there to, to do it. Of course, we know all the benefits of going this way, uh, getting away from the the hard wiring. If it's about about safety, environmental things, so of course we consider that. Uh, of course, in, in the end, of course, uh, during these first projects, I mean, it's it's more expensive because we're doing it for the first time. But it, when it has standardized things, it will be so less work for the future projects when we extend that on this digital solution we can kind of roll out kind of our our implementation on it for all the future projects to come and that will definitely be a cost saving uh, aspect in our terms and of course the technical parts of uh, testing and commissioning it being able to make almost do the full design of a substation during for example fat testing uh, have all that protection and control test it maybe yeah close to the close to our headquarters maybe in the capital area before it's shipped out to the field it will definitely be a cost saving we've seen it especially in these first projects we did we didn't manage to finish all the process so the everything was has gotten on site and as for conventional one we, we had a lot of problems yeah having to ship people out do all of the work in the field rather than uh, work we could have done uh, before we ship things out. And right. Of course, pandemic came in there as well uh, to make things a little more difficult. Yeah. But we see definitely see uh, yeah, how things can improve with this uh, approach. Well, it sounds like great progress. So, um, Becca, what will you be sharing with participants at the IC61850 week in October? So I think I'll summarize all of this journey this Lancet had taken from the first decision, just the overnight decision, okay, all new and refurbished projects will be fully digital substation. Mm -hmm. Go. We, did, we we started off with uh, yeah, empty hands, like we don't have we don't have any thorough uh, requirements or implementation. We only referred, yeah, let's do it like six hundred and fifty, and that's what we put uh, said our contractors, and that's that's not Kind of the best way, yeah. Like you have to learn from it. You have to learn by doing. Yeah. So yeah. at the same time, so I will describe the process. Yeah, how we how we're building up this requirement implementation, running the ongoing projects, and at the same time finding the best solution for us for the future and where we stand today. So from now in June uh, 21, uh, we have uh, commissioned five digital substations. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of them with some kind of weaknesses and stuff like that, but uh, we're definitely improving on them and then uh, rolling that out to all the ongoing designs for the upcoming uh, substation, which are being designed and built at the moment. Yeah, great. Well, we look forward to hearing more about that. I think, um, as as you mentioned, that you've taken a very courageous approach in that um, you planned just enough to get you started and then you really learned the lessons as you were going and you were able to uh, adjust and pivot as you were um, in the implementation process, which is great because it keeps it live and relevant. So we look forward to hearing about all the lessons you've learned, all the successes you've had and what colleagues in the industry can learn from that and how they can take that forward as well. Thank you so much, Berka. Thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you at IC61850 week 2021 on the 18th to the 22nd of October. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. See you in Gothenburg.